ladies and gentlemen. This is Jared with the Columbia Watch Society. Uh, hope you're doing well today. We're going to take a look at another uh, timepiece. If you would, uh, subscribe to our channel here and give us a like, and we'd really appreciate it. Uh, the watch we're going to look at today is from a fairly new company. Uh, the guy that founded it, Chris, is uh, not necessarily new to watches at all. Uh, but he's over in London, UK, and uh, he came up with a, an idea for a, a watch that I'm going to share with you. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the company is called 58 Watches. It's a fully Swiss-made watch, um, and I don't know what all the qualifications there are, but I feel like I have to say I don't know what all the qualifications there are because, for one, I don't know, but I also know there's also... Uh, uh, qualifications to make it a Swiss made and uh, apparently they have made the cut with this one and I'm gonna tell you it's, it's quite a piece. Uh, there are several different uh, variant dial, uh, dial color ways for uh, this particular watch and uh, we have the white one on hand today but I wanted to show you before I show you that I want to show you the packaging it comes in. I mean it's really cool classy. Uh, it comes in a bag uh, at first and then you pull it out and it's uh, uh, actual uh, constructed uh, wood box uh, with a nice uh, uh, plate here very high polished uh, on the front of it uh, donning uh, their name 58 uh, Swiss made uh, and then here is a little pouch with other strap in it and I'll, I'll get to that in a second uh, anyway the box uh, is decorated with what they're calling, um, let's see, I have my notes here. I wanna make sure I get this right. And, and I still won't because I probably can't pronounce it, but the, the finish on the box <clears throat> is called um, uh, Royal Ebony M Makassar, M Makassar. Anyway, don't laugh at me, but anyway, that's what the finishing is called. And, and in person, it's, it's really actually quite gorgeous. Uh, and a really nice box as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is it. Um, make sure there's no smudges on there. This is the watch, 58 watches. And uh, what they're calling this collection, this is actually their first collection. Uh, it is called the Geneva Tribute Collection. And uh, each dial variant, as I mentioned earlier, and there's five of them, uh, each one, uh, has a limited edition of 158 pieces per uh, per dial variant. So um, it's there's not very very many of each of them, uh, but this is obviously the white dial. Uh, they have a salmon dial as well, uh, and then two black dials with two different case colors. And the other one is a um. I think a midnight bluish type dial, and they have names for these. I just failed at writing them down, uh, but you can uh, obviously you can check that out um, uh, with them on Instagram, or they have a website, and uh, and then they're on Kickstarter as well, and they have a lot of information on there. So, and I'll share all that that information and, and website and such with you at the end. So this is the um, white dial variant of the Geneva Tribute, um, and. Uh, I told you all that, made sure I told you this. Um, five dial colors, 150, and of course, um, let's see, some specs. Let's go, over, let's go over the specs. I always wanna say boring specs because I feel like I always have to give them, but they are quite useful, uh, especially with this one. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna give you is the case back, and um, it is very smudgy, so I'm wiping that down, forgive me. Uh, the case back is uh, St. Pierre's Cathedral. Uh, it's um, engraved on there, etched, however you call it. And you can see at the top it says uh, St. Pierre's Cathedral. It's a pop-on case back. It's not screw, screw down. Um, it uh, uh, has the water uh, resistance here. Uh, ref, ref number for these watches, or for this particular watch with the white dial is 5811 limited edition here, and then Swiss made over here. Um, I'll start on the, or continue on the front with the dial. So uh, 
the uh, watch itself uh, across is 41 millimeters. Um, it's uh, 47 millimeters lug to lug here. 10.2 uh, uh, millimeters thick, uh, 20 millimeter lug space. And with that, I'll go ahead and mention that, uh, as I said before, there are two straps, that, uh, or I didn't say that, but there's two straps that come with every watch. What I said before was the other one was in this uh, little package here, and I'll set the watch down and show it to you <clears throat> while we're talking about that so you can see. There are uh, other offerings as far as straps, uh, but uh, these are the two that came with the white dial version. So uh, one, is, one is like a honey brown uh, smooth strap. The other one is uh, kind of a croco grain um, uh, bluish greenish type strap. And uh, while we're looking at the bluish greenish, and I mentioned that, so what, what happens here is with this strap on, it really brings out the hands, and that is because they're actually blued. Um, make sure I get the angle on that. So the second hand, the hour, and the minute hand are all bl uh, blued steel. And, um, and they are quite gorgeous the way they're shaped. And you have like a, uh, the diamond shape on the, as a counterweight on the second, second hand. And all that matches this strap, which looks really nice when it's on. But I preferred, personally, I preferred the, the honeyish brown strap with the white dial. I thought, I thought it looked pretty rich. But um, anyway, so uh, the case is 316L stainless steel. Uh, uh, you look through the sapphire glass to see the dial. It's uh, sapphire uh, with coating. And um, let's see, uh, you hit a you get a two-year warranty with it as well um, and of course you see there's a date window right there um, and one thing I particularly liked about it uh, my eyes are really awful but if I get a close-up on a phone it's nice to see and I think we shot a picture of it up on Instagram but I need to get the right angle on this so you can see but on the crown on the edge of the crown uh, it's they've got it engraved uh, 58 with the little coat of arms uh, symbol and that coat of arms symbol I hope I'm saying that correctly that's what I call it anyway is repeated here on the dial uh, at the very top there above the 58 uh, it's a it's a little silver applied thing the uh, markers are all applied and polished um, which creates a pretty beautiful effect as well uh, alongside of the blued hands um, both straps that you get are uh, quick change straps, so that makes it really nice. Uh, a couple things I'll mention, I think that I, I, I didn't write these down, but there are a couple updates that they're gonna do um, once Kickstarter's done and they start actually making these things and uh, shipping them out to you guys. Uh, they're gonna change a few things, and one of those is uh, this, this will not say 58 here, it will have I believe what it'll have is just the uh, the little what I called uh, the coat of arms with the five eight and the uh, the shield. Maybe I should call it that the shield. Um, and I think uh, as I said before that the sapphire the rear of the sapphire on the inside is coated with AR. That's one thing I think that isn't done with this model, but it will be done in the future models. I, uh, anyway. Um, there are a few updates that they're making um, to make them more attractive and um, user-friendly, as if they need to be more attractive. I mean, they're it's absolutely classy and gorgeous. Uh, one thing I didn't mention that I was supposed to, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, notes uh, are good for me, but they also kill me because I find myself following them too closely. And then, number one, I can't get creative. Number two, uh, I might skip one or two. But when I was on the case back, what I was supposed to mention, and this is one of the high points, so if I, if I would have missed this, I would have had to do the whole video over because it's important to me and maybe to you. But inside of this thing is uh, um, the Salita uh, SW200 automatic movement. So it's, it's quite a nice movement, and I think that thing runs at 28,800, uh, um, uh, uh, what do you say, beats per minute. So it's... it's um, 
it's pretty legit uh, movement inside and it's got a really nice weight to it but not one that's so uncomfortable uh, the the strap um, with the strap on it makes it nice and, and not too uncomfortable as it might would be with a steel band uh, but these straps are Italian leather and um, and they are just exceptionally made so glad I got to spend a little bit of time with this uh, some of my counterparts may have may have had more to add to this uh, uh, um, but I hope I did a decent job here uh, introducing you to 58 watches their new collection first and only collection uh, the Geneva the Geneva tribute they are actually open on Kickstarter right now um, I don't really know exactly how long that's gonna run but uh, it shouldn't be too long before they start actually um, uh, updating these and uh, making the 158 per dial uh, per dial color that they that they promised to make so uh, anyway pricing will be set at uh, if you're a super early bird and you get there before a certain date uh, they're 640 USD and then an early bird is 685 USD and um, and then after that, uh, they may increase a little bit uh, if you don't get in on the early bird special. But anyway, so I'm going to close this video out because I've rambled along uh, long enough. But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, I hope that you uh, give 58 watches a look. And you can do so by checking them out on Instagram at 58 watches. Uh, and spell 58 out. Don't put a 5 and an 8. Uh, spell it out. Uh, 58 watches on Instagram. And then, um, where else? You can also check them out on 58watches.com. Again, spell 58 out. Um, and you can check them out on uh, Kickstarter, their uh, current campaign. Uh, you can, as usual, you can check us out on our website, colawatch.com, which this video will be on, and uh, our other videos as well. You can also check us out uh, at the Columbia Watch Society on Instagram and on Facebook, and please don't forget to subscribe and like. Appreciate you guys. Have a great one.